given here is a right angle triangle in which area of the triangle is 30 square centimeter and perimeter is 30 centimeter we have to find the sides let us consider side ab is equal to x side bc is equal to y and ac is equal to z now as per the formula of a right angle triangle area of a right angle triangle is equal to 1 upon 2 times base into height here base is bc so 1 upon 2 times bc height is ab so times ab or we can write 1 upon 2 times x times y or xy upon 2 and given the area of a right angle triangle here is 30 square centimeter so from here we can calculate xy is equal to 60 let this be equation 1 now as per the Pythagorean theorem square of the hypotenuse which is b so square of hypotenuse is equal to the sum of squares of other two sides that is b square is equal to x square plus y square and in the given question we have perimeter perimeter of a triangle is sum of three sides of the triangle so x plus y plus b is equal to 30 centimeter or x plus y is equal to 30 minus b now square both the sides so x plus y whole square is equal to 30 minus z whole square so this is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy this is equal to 30 square is 900 minus 2 times 30 times z plus z square from Pythagorean theorem we know z square is equal to x square plus y square let this be equation 2 so from equation 2 we can write here x square plus y square as z square plus 2xy is equal to 900 minus 60z plus z square now we can cancel these z square and this z square 2xy and from equation 1 we can get the value of xy xy is 60 so 2 times 60 is equal to 900 minus 60z or 60z is equal to 900 minus 120 or z is equal to 780 upon 60 0 and 0 get cancelled or z is equal to 40 again the Pythagorean theorem says x square plus y square is equal to z square or instead of x square plus y square we can write x plus y whole square minus 2xy is equal to z square is 13 square or x plus y whole square is equal to 169 13 square is 169 plus 2 times xy is 60 or x plus y whole square is equal to 169 plus 120 or x plus y whole square is equal to 289 to remove the square we square root both the sides so x plus y is equal to 17 so let this be equation 3 now from equation 1 and 3 we have x plus y is equal to 17 and xy is equal to 60 so y we can write 60 upon x or x plus 60 upon x is equal to 17 or x square plus 60 is equal to 17 x we multiplied x to both the sides or x square minus 17 x plus 60 is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation we can factorize it or find the value through discriminant method if we factorize it we can write x square minus 12x minus 5x plus 60 minus 12 times minus 5 is 60 and minus 12 plus minus 5 is minus 17 or x x minus 12 minus 5 x minus 12 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 and x minus 12 
So common factor is equal to zero. We have two solutions for x. When x minus five is equal to zero, x is equal to five. When x minus twelve is equal to zero, in that case, x is equal to twelve. From equation three, x plus y is equal to seventeen. So when x is equal to five, y is equal to seventeen minus five, twelve. When x is equal to twelve. Y is equal to seventeen minus twelve is equal to five. So x is equal to five or twelve. Y is equal to twelve or five, and z is equal to fourteen. So these are the solutions for the sides. We can check this solution. Area of square will be one upon two times twelve times five, thirty square centimeter. Perimeter is twelve plus five plus thirteen or five. Plus twelve plus thirteen is equal to forty centimeter. So both the cases are true. Answer is correct. How did you solve it? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching.